Hello, hello and welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about some lipsticks. Imagine me as a makeup artist having at least 30 bullet lipsticks and having a hard time finding the right one. Not good, right? That's why I'm showing you today this amazing double-sided compact palette from MAC. I chose to have this one with 24 wells or compartments on both sides. In between the sides you have see-through interior which lets you view shade choices while keeping products secure and protected during transit. What's really important to say right away is that this is not a magnetic palette and you can use it only with MAC inserts. On their website you can find different sizes and inserts and customize it to your needs. Today we will together transfer one bullet lipstick into the palette and I chose Captive by MAC. First I'm choosing in which compartments to place the lipstick and for the whole lipstick I need two of them. Then I'm using a knife because I need something sharp to remove the insert and this is definitely a con and maybe the only thing I don't like about this palette because I think that I could find a bit better and easier way. I'm using cosmetic palette and spatula because we're going to squish the whole lipstick and of course everything is sanitized with 70% alcohol. So there are different techniques for depotting lipsticks. Today I'm doing the no heat one, so I'm gonna cut the first part. And if you're following me on Instagram, you already know that there is almost that much left inside the bullet. You would probably stop here and throw away the lipstick, but don't do it, because hey, just look at that. Different technique is to hold the lipstick with a clean tissue and pull the whole lipstick out from the bullet, but if your lipstick is a bit softer or creamier, just try the one I'm showing you today. Next thing is to squish the lipstick carefully for a few minutes until you cannot see any lumps left, and then we are ready to transfer the lipstick into the wells. While I'm squishing the lipstick, I just wanted to say that I really don't like the technique where you're melting the lipstick because the heat can change the formula. If you like how smooth the palette looks when lipsticks are melted, don't forget that you're going to ruin that the very first time you take a bit out of it. As I already said, I need two wells for the whole lipstick and I'm making sure not to leave any air bubbles and to make everything sit in perfectly. I'm not worried about the residue because I'm going to clean everything with some cotton pads. Next thing is to place the insert into the palette and to push one down a bit until I hear a click. Now I just need to remember what's the name of the lipstick and for that I like to take pictures with my phone while holding the name in front of the color. As you can see I had a hard time focusing two cameras, but I hope you got the point. And the very last thing I wanted to show you is what I'm doing to keep everything clean and sanitized. First of all, I'm never double dipping. If I'm using just one color, I can take it with a clean lipstick brush directly from the palette. And to avoid double dipping, I'm always making sure to take a bit more than I think I would need. But if I want to mix few colors, I would take a bit with the end of the brush or with spatula and sanitize it before going again and taking another color. Let me know your thoughts about this video, I hope you enjoyed it.